variable actions. Variable actions are normally difficult to predict due to its nature of being not consistent throughout the service life. It can be there, it can be not there. Due to the flowability of the occupants or some other aspects of the load, the variable actions can fluctuate throughout the service life of the structures. For that, the factor of safety adopted for the variable actions are normally relatively large in comparison to the permanent actions. However, for analyzing a large structure, especially a multi-story building, using a large Factor of safety for the variable actions can lead to extremely conservative design of the structure. It is noted that for this kind of large building, it is unlikely that the building is carrying the full variable action simultaneously at all of its flow. Therefore, a reduction can be applied to the variable actions so that a more economical design is applied to the structure. To ensure the structures to be safe, there are several conditions for the reductions of the variable actions. The conditions can basically divide into two types of structural element, which is the beam and the columns, wall and foundations. The reductions may be applied to the beam for it to support a large area of the floor area. The relevant clause in EC1 is given here. And it is only applicable for class C and D only. The class C and D is referring to the congregations area and the shopping areas. The reduction factor for the beam is calculated as the equation indicated here. It is basically in the functions of the a node, which is 10 meters square, divided by the loaded area, and the factors for the combinations, sine node. The sine node may be referred from the list here. For these conditions of beam, only class C and D is applied. Therefore, the sine node is 0.7. As for the columns, walls and foundations which sustain the load vertically in the Asia mode, the reductions of the variable actions can only be applied for the structure which is greater than two story height. It is not inclusive of the double story structure. The relevant clause in EC1 is given here and it can be used for the category A to D which are the residential area, office area, congregations area and the shopping area. The reduction factors is calculated as the equations given here. The end here refers to the number of story above the loaded structural element. The sign note here refers to the table A1.1 EN1990. Based on the equation here, the end is referring to the number of story above the loads. With that, the top two story here cannot be considered for the reductions in terms of the variable action. Reductions can only be applied when the n is greater than 2.